Dementia is an umbrella term that describes lots of different conditions that can give rise to things like memory problems, um, disorientation, communication problems. Um, there are about 400, more than 400 in fact, different kinds of dementia. The one that everyone's heard of is probably Alzheimer's disease. John was showing signs of being a, a, a lot tireder all the time. Uh, didn't matter how much sleep he got, it didn't matter whether we were on holiday. He was still very tired. You had minor things, just in forgetfulness, and you had the more major things where he just wasn't getting things. And his driving was deteriorating a bit as well. Shirley, she had, had expressed on numerous occasions that um, I wasn't getting certain things right, probably through forgetfulness. And my first thought was, yeah, some of many of my people I work with are, are, are like that, no big deal. But you hear it enough times, you think, well, mm, in the end, OK, I'll go and see someone. Now, at the moment, there is no single positive test for dementia. There's no blood test you can take that will tell you you've got Alzheimer's disease or any other form of dementia. So dementia is currently diagnosed by a process of eliminating everything else it could possibly be. What are you doing home? I don't think John really thought about dementia because he was more, I suppose, in denial in the sense that um, I, I will be better once I've had a holiday, I'll be better uh, when I've had a bit more rest. But I thought, and if you live with somebody, you pick up the science easier than they would because you're seeing it all the time and you're thinking, this isn't right, this isn't how you were, you know, two, three, four, five years ago. If you're able to get a diagnosis at an earlier stage, you're then in a position where you can begin to plan. Now, you can make plans for, for, for how you want the rest of your life to be. John finds quite difficult to look through legal documents now. And uh, because of his memory, if he's reading a page, he wouldn't remember it all. So that falls, I find that a lot of that falls onto me. Obviously, when it comes to financial planning, in terms of family, everyone should obviously have a will. And just because you have a diagnosis of dementia doesn't mean you can't take out a will. So you need to sort the will out. You need to take out a lasting power of attorney. Now, this is a device that will enable someone both to take care of your finances, should you become incapable of doing so further down the line, but also to make, to make health decisions for you and perhaps make decisions about where you, know, where, where you live. You have to concentrate on living in the present. I mean, um, I can see that some might think, well, that's really denying the future. I think, well, it doesn't feel like that because the future is, a, is something else. Um, if the present holds many good things, as it happily for me, it does, I'll, I'll suspend things in the present for the time being. The help is out there, and I mean the doctors will point you in the right direction. You know, you can get help, and really the earlier you ask for it, the, the better. And even if you don't fancy going on to a support group or whatever, because we haven't done everything we've been offered, um, it's quite interesting to, to get yourself involved so that you see how other people are, are dealing with it. There are you know, roughly around 700,000 people with dementia in the UK. And someone recently said, you know, once you've met one person with dementia, you've met one person with dementia. So everyone's experience of dementia is different. As dementia progresses, you probably find that you need more and more support, but, but the precise kind of support that you need depends very much on you, on, on, on the kind of symptoms you're having and also what you want. I've been surprised at just how supportive people are. One is very um, grateful to those that um, help from whatever source they, they might come. Friends, family, societies, employers. Oh, the world is quite a helpful place. I have found.